Now, sis, what I'm gonna need for you to do is keep it on the playground. I'm the librarian, I'm librarian. and I came, and I to, came read. to read. I mean, correct? Correct, Lenar. I knew this would eventually happen. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna talk about that a little bit later on in the video. Before I get started, I wanted to let you guys know that while I was driving today, I was like, girl, I really want to write a novel. And so the only reason I'm telling you, because usually I like to move in silence. Y'all know me. I did the podcast in silence, just dropped it on you hoes. Did my ebook. Oh my god, I wrote my ebook. If you wanna buy that, I think it's like what is it, like two dollars or some shit. <laughs> if you wanna buy that, it's in my description boxes. But yeah, this novel is gonna be fucking magic and dragons and, and kingdoms monarchies but gay kings and gay you know what I mean like I want a gay ass version of Game of Thrones and you know sprinkle some you know black ass Wakanda type of tease in there shit I and the only reason I'm saying that is because the only reason I'm telling you guys this is because I want to hold myself accountable meaning I want to get this shit done because I want it to be a trilogy like a three-part series so girl just stay tuned for that I think you guys will be very excited to read that shit tell me what you think about the concept but in general yeah I, I want to finish that shit at least by you know the end of 2018 so it's gonna be an interesting ass journey. Moving the fuck along. We, you already know that um, ForTheCulturePodcast.com is always lit. Uh, upcoming Tuesday, we'll have a new episode out for you there. Also, Patreon.com slash Adrian Express. And the girls over there got this video first, so if you want to see the shit first, sign up there. I know sometimes YouTube acts kind of wonky with <laughs> my releases, and sometimes I'm like, girl, what the fuck is going on? I thought this whole was out. Now, this video probably is going to be mainly about Monique gathering the fuck out of Charlemagne. I mean, there's no other way to put it, sis. You, I mean, Monique went there with her fucking facts, and she knew she was about to son a nigga. She sunned the fuck out of fucking. She sunned his ass, bitch. You, you bitches are like son, Nicki Minaj type of. Dudes. She sunned the fuck out of Charlemagne from the moment she walked in that bitch. She was like, "Girl, you're t you're calling me donkey of the day, sis. Do you believe that your mom is the donkey of the day?" Like she really went in on his ass, insinuating that he was all types of coons. I live for it. Somebody really needs to get in on Charlemagne's ass. I try to do it as often as I can. I'm glad Monique went in there and gathered. Now, as for a lot of people who tried to dismiss her, it's just like, girl, you were so quick to. Like, sit your ass down. We don't want to hear shit that you're talking about. For me, I critiqued her methods. I was just like, girl, I'm, there's no way in hell that I'm going to boycott Netflix. That's not happening. But that's what I'm saying. Like, if you want to critique Monique, girl, critique her methods, critique, you know, I wouldn't do this, I would do this, based off of my inexperience in the fucking TV industry. You know what I mean? And that's what I said. But I also said, if you go back to that video, I was like, girl, we should not be dismissing the point. This is a very important, very big topic. And if you're someone who claims to want equality, you should have been paying attention to what she was saying, because she's definitely not the only black woman who's being underpaid. So yes, I definitely critique Monique's methods. I said, girl, there is no way. I don't know how you're going to organize a boycott of Netflix. I don't think that will be successful at all. And that's just me being me, sis. That's just me saying what I feel. But at the same time, I was able to say, separate all that shit and be like, I can I can understand where she's coming from. And as someone who's been working in industry for so long, I can imagine, she's just like, girl, I'm fed up. I don't have shit, to, I don't have shit else to lose, sis. So. And that's how she chose to handle it. So it was interesting to see everybody jump up and without getting the facts I think she brought up a good point where it's like y'all had Amy Schumer and you you paid her based off of the anticipated profit that you thought was going to come versus my proven profit y'all are not giving me the time of day so I completely understand that shit with Amy Schumer's payless shoebox shape head ass I can completely understand with her whack ass comedy with her fucking corny ass jokes I can imagine I can imagine being pissed the fuck off and that's why I was like I understand what she's saying. But this Breakfast Club interview, she did not let her fucking foot off of anybody's neck and bitch, I fucking got my life. I mean, she even turned to Angela, like in the beginning of the video, she turned to Angela Lee. Okay, you're hearing all this shit. What, who are the names? Specifically, who are the bitches who are saying this shit? Well, I can't, okay, well girl, if that's the case, sis, just shut it on up. Leave it at recess where it fucking belongs, bitch, with the, kid, with the kids, okay? Because we're grown folks around here. So I, I loved it. I loved every nanosecond of that shit. One last point, I'll move the fuck on. It's interesting how people can relate. It's like some of us are working jobs that we hate, underneath bosses that we fucking hate, getting underpaid, and Monique is someone, a lot of these celebrities are people who can use that power, and a lot of times, quote unquote, regular people don't have the power to be like, hey bitch, you tried me whole, like, we don't have, <laughs> just work underneath the boss and shut your ass up, but Monique is someone who has, the, a lot of celebrities have the power to be able to, hey, no bitch, to be able to say, no bitch, you gonna treat me right, and so it's interesting that people wouldn't relate to that shit, like, how many of us would have loved to stand up to our bosses or say, bitch, don't you ever try me like that again or you need to pay me and shit. I feel like that is an issue that a lot of people could relate to. I, I just don't think anybody should be shamed for demanding their respect and their pay. Just like Viola Davis said, like, sis, y'all are calling me the Black Meryl Street. Okay, but if that's the case, y'all need to pay me.
became me like her. Okay? And there's nothing wrong with saying that shit. Methods might be different. You can criticize the methods or how you go about doing it, but the message behind the whole thing, it should not be ignored. That's what I think. Now, moving the hell along to Miss NRA. She's getting her wig snatched today. Now, what did I tell you all? I said, sis, if you're coming around in the present day and age, you're coming around 2018, your wig needs to be made out of vibranium, sis, because otherwise, the girls are going to snatch it. And what happened is, let me see some of these companies that are boycotting the NRA. I don't know what, how much damage that shit would do. I hope it does enough, but I mean, some of the some of the companies are Best Western, Wyndham Hotels, all these rental car places, Enterprise, you know, National Bank of Omaha. Like they're fucking dragging the NRA's ass. Now, I I will continue to say this every time I talk about the NRA. When we're when we're talking about gun violence and shit, we need yes, girl, drag the NRA, read the shit out of their asses, take their fucking money, do what do what you have to do, but also understand that America was colonized. America was founded on violence, so there is a culture of violence within our society that we do need to address as well. Now, guns are a problem. Yes, they are, sis. Some of these individuals don't need access to it, and I mean, that's just tea, but also, we need to unpack our society's obsession with fucking violence, okay? And I think once you do that, once you do those two things, you will start to progress to a place that makes sense. Now, amid, and I talked about this before amidst all the talk about arming teachers and stuff, apparently there were four sheriffs who were hiding during the shooting instead of going inside the building. Now, there are conflicting reports. I think somebody went up on CNN to say, girl, this is wrong. This is fraud. You're making up facts that letter didn't have any, that didn't make any sense. I was like, okay, sis. At first, like, I started to think, oh, well, you know, the body freezes up a lot of times. Sometimes you think that you'll react a certain way, with, you know, in an unfolding situation of trauma and you, you react completely differently, you freeze up, fight or flight type of tease. But then I thought about, I was like, these bitches be really quick to shoot a black ass nigger. They, they be quick to shoot a black man who is fucking unarmed. You know what I mean? So, but y'all are hype. You're hype. You're scared. You're hiding from the fucking shooter, girl. This is, I mean, isn't this why a lot of you hoes signed up for this shit? Y'all want adventure. You want excitement. So when nothing is happening, you have to create something. You have to shoot a bunch of motherfuckers that aren't, aren't doing shit. But yeah, I mean, all of a sudden when the excitement is here, girl, it's showtime, sis. So all that shooting you was doing, all that shooting you was doing, sis, you need, hey, you need to come do that shit now. But you hoes are fucking frozen? Like, bitch, am, am I fucking Elsa or some shit, bitch? You hoes need to let it go. Let it go. You hoes are racist, bitch. You tried me ho. It's just interesting how the priorities change. It's interesting. You see the shift in dynamics, girl. You bitch are quick to shoot up a hole over fucking cigarettes. But when this motherfucker's out here chopping holes down like a bitch is fucking deforestation type of tees, bitch, you hoes nowhere to be found? Doesn't make sense. Doesn't add up. So what I want are answers. And I'm a bitch Scantron type of tease, bitch. I want you hoes to fill that shit out Christmas tree. If you're confused, bitch, you'll get credit e even for guessing, sis. I want you to fill out if all the instructions. I want answers, okay? And Rick Scott is over here trying to give us some answers. Not sure if I accept it. Not sure if this is something that moves my spirit. He's talking about a, a billion dollar infrastructure plan where you, you know, you have apps to report crime and report people who seem kind of suspicious. Like he's talking about a whole restricting access to guns to certain people. He did that shit and all I saw through that shit was Olivia Pope. That's all I saw. Because as I said from my previous video, uh, Rick Scott is someone who has an A plus rating with the NRA girl. He loves pro gun type of bills. He loves signing them holes into law. So now when that shit backfired, he had to sit his ass down and think about a way to get out of it. And he just, you know, this is the plan that I plan to implement. Uh, this is cute and this is the type of change that I'm talking about. I'm talk talking about infrastructure changes, but Rick Scott's goddamn track record, you know, and politicians in general, girl, I don't believe shit. I don't believe shit that you're talking about. I don't believe shit that you're saying. All this shit's for branding and optics to me. And uh, until I see some actual shit being done, I will not believe it. And that's just that. That's that. Because after this shit comes out, all these hoes are, oh shit, how many pro, how many fucking pro gun bills did I sign? These hoes are boycotting the NRA now, girl. I gotta think of something fast to get out of the situation. I'm not, I'm not buying it. Rick Scott, I'm not buying it. I believe it when I see it. I do appreciate your ass for saying it, but actions speak louder than words. A lot of bitches been talking, and I need to see some actual results, okay? And I'm glad that we're having a conversation. To me, this is starting the conversation, not even having it. I think this is starting the conversation. It, first, it, it didn't die down. I expected it to. Uh, but there are protests all over the place, people holding the signs and shit, people trying to petition the government. So it's like we're starting to have the conversation. We're not even having it. I would like to see if this will actually amount to anything that means something. Now, which name should should I use for his ass from now on? Should I use Charlemagne or should I use Lenard? Have a good goddamn evening.